Italy's newly re-elected president, Giorgio Napolitano, has jumped straight into urgent talks that could lead to the naming of a prime minister today. The 87-year-old is hoping to end two months of post-election deadlock that has left the country unable to make vital reforms and alarmed the international partners of the Eurozone's third largest economy. The rapid round of consultations with Senate and House representatives have not involved any party leaders. The speculation of who Napolitano might choose has fallen on two principal candidates. Firstly, two-time Prime Minister Giuliano Amato, a veteran of the centre-left who was also interior minister in the Prodi government, and Matteo Renzi, the mayor of Florence, who's tipped to take over as leader of the Democratic Party, filling the void left by Pierluigi Bersani. He resigned last week after being unable to reach agreements with Silvio Berlusconi's centre-right party or Beppe Grillo's five-star movement. The Democratic Party earned a majority in the lower house but failed to win control of the Senate after February's vote. Silvio Berlusconi has indicated he would be willing to support Matteo Renzi, however.